All right, today I'm going to be installing USB ports on a 48 volt uh, easy go golf cart. Um, it does not have the 12 volt converter on it. Uh, even though it does have headlights, I checked the voltage on them and it's 33 volts. So I'm not exactly sure what's going on with that. I'm kind of new to golf carts. So anyway, I found this USB and voltage meter. Um, and it can operate anywhere from 9 to um, 48 volts, or I think even higher than that voltage. But anyway, it's one of the few that you can connect directly to 48 volts. So I thought that was cool. Made the job really pretty easy just to charge phones and Bluetooth speakers and stuff like that on the cart. Um, and the wiring that came with it is almost useless. It's uh, pretty short. Um way too short for what i'm going to be doing today so i'm not going to bother with that i got marine grade uh this is a overkill uh 14 gauge marine wire and a waterproof fuse so um that's what i'm going to be using i'll put links to this in the um in the description uh got it off of amazon it's a, like 28 bucks it is a little bit pricey for what it is but it's the only one that i could find that will work wired directly to 48 volts and has a little voltmeter here so i can kind of monitor where my batteries are at so let's go over the golf cart and i'll show you where i'm going to wire this up okay here i'm under the seat of the golf cart with all my batteries um it's a six battery uh, system uh six eight volt batteries so um again 48 volts um I didn't want this thing to be powered on all the time, so I wanted to find a place that was, um, when I turned the key off, it would turn the power off to it. So I uh, came down here to the little uh, solenoid, and if you don't have a multimeter, you really uh, go to Harbor Freight and just seem to get a cheap one, have something. Um, so I started probing these <clears throat> little posts, and I found uh, this one, I don't know if you can see here, where my lead is touching right there on the right side. Uh, had zero voltage when the key was off and 48, 49 volts when the key is on. So I have uh, uh, hooked up to the negative side over here. This is this is where the 48 comes out of the of this uh, bank. Uh, you got the negative here and the positive here. So across these two is 48, well, it's more like 49 volts. So I've got the ground hooked up over there. The positive there i'm going to turn the key on boom 49 a little over 49 volts so with the key off back to zero so that's where i'm going to wire it to so i'm going to have to wire uh run the wire underneath and somehow come up here in the dash uh, i'm not sure i'm going to be filming that but uh, i'm just going to follow the wires uh there's wiring harnesses down there already and uh, I'll try to get a little video of that. Okay, I've got the wire run, not secured. I'll show you that a little bit later. Um, I've already uh, stripped the insulation back on this. Put a little piece of a uh, heat shrink here. Um, soldered in my fuse holder. You want that as close to the battery as pretty much you can get. Uh, soldered, heat shrink that. And now I have these little marine grade uh, copper tinned lugs I'm gonna be uh, crimping on and heat drinking them these like I said are marine grade and they have a little glue on them as well when you put these things on and, and heat them up they make a really nice seal um, and this crimper I uh, again got off Amazon it's been one of the best investments I've bought um, bought it from one project and I've used it multiple times so um, let me get these crimped on and I'll show you what I got all right got those put on and that just, it just does a really nice job. So those are ready to go. Not going to hook those up yet. I'm going to now turn to the dash. Um, I didn't video it, but uh, this cart had a custom dash put in. Um, I struggled getting it off. I really don't even know how I did it. I finally just started pulling it and it finally popped off. Um, it really wasn't installed right. Um, this was behind it. Uh, instead of being installed where it, like it was supposed to be. So I'm going to do that right. And I guess, I don't know what this used to be. Uh, I'm going to see if my USB will fit in here. Um, I'm going to drill a hole. Let me show you my dash here. 
here's the dash. So here's where the key and everything should go. USB. I'm going to have to move that. Going to go right here somewhere. So let me figure that out, draw it out, get a hole saw, and um, see what I can do here. All right, it looks like I'm going to have to cut a piece out of the back here because I don't think, while this does fit, I think once I get the wires on, they're going to hit that little piece of plastic in the back. So I'm going to get something and just cut that piece of plastic out. Uh, I've got the wire secured over there for now, and I went ahead and hooked the negative up. Um, I'm going to go under and secure the wire just so I know exactly how much I need up here uh, to cut to be able to still get the dash out and everything. So uh, I'm going to go under and secure. All right, not sure how well this is going to video, but here's my uh, wire going through these openings already in the frame. And right back there is the battery compartment where you see the bright light. So I got it coming. Uh, through, oops, man, got it coming through these holes in the frame, and then I got it going over, and then there's a channel here, it's kind of hard to see, it goes all the way up, and then behind the uh, headlights here, and curves around and goes in behind the dash, so I might come back and put a loom on this, at least this part back here, but it's a pretty tough wire, uh, pretty tough insulation on it. So we'll see how it does. But so it's all done underneath. Time to move up top. All right, just ended up using a little metal cutting sawzall blade by hand and cut the back plastic out. So now it's this whole area is wide open. So I uh, finished the wiring here. Um, got my connectors on and everything so now the only thing is i have to figure out exactly where to cut the hole in the uh aftermarket dash here for this to go in so i gotta do a little do a little measuring and figure that out all right spent the better part of a half hour trying to get that velcro um adhesive off of here um so uh, it's hard to see but i got a little mark here i'm going about center of this opening and um I'm going to drill my hole. Sure. I don't have the best hole saw here. Man. Sorry about that. Shake you there. I think, it, I think it burned through it more than it cut. Yeah, I'm gonna have to clean this hole up. I hope it didn't make it too big. That'll suck. Let's see. Ah, no, it'll work. Just gotta clean it up a little bit and uh, smooth out these edges a little. Yeah, it's kind of a mess. I'm gonna have to get a file. All right, smoothed out the edges with a file, and it came out pretty nice. Can't complain. My my hole saw is not very good, but it got the job done. So now all I'm left to do is hook the wires up and try to get this dash back in. Um, it was terrible getting it out. Uh, it has four screws, and then I don't know what was holding it, and it just took a lot of force to pop it off. I'm hoping it doesn't take a lot of force to get it back on we'll see all right got everything done um i did realize that i zip tied my wire to where that screw goes back in the cover so i had to move it but got all my wiring done and uh, everything closed up ready to go back together and uh, here's the final product here turn the key on and there we go 49.2 volts pull a little cover I tested the USB ports, they both work. So um, this is a pretty inexpensive way to just add USB ports to a 48 volt golf cart. 
if um, you don't want to add that 12 volt converter. Uh, we'll see how long this thing lasts.